In this video, I will make you understand the concept of thermodynamic process and the concept of quasi equilibrium process in very less time through storytelling. So let us get started. Suppose somebody asks you what is thermodynamic process. So you can say that whenever a system and surrounding interact, the state of the system change from state 1 to state 2 and the process takes place that is called as thermodynamic process. So when a system interact with its surrounding, a process takes place and that is called as thermodynamic process. So you can show this on PV diagram. This is state 1 where pressure is P1 V1, state 2 where pressure is P2 V2. And between these two, a process takes place that is called as thermodynamic process. Now, what is quasi equilibrium process? So for that, let me tell you a story. This is story about a monkey and an ant. So the story is like this. Suppose you have a piston cylinder arrangement containing a gas and over this piston, we have two kilogram of sugar kept over the piston. So this pressure of the gas, which is P1, will balance the weight exerted by two kilogram of sugar and also the weight of piston. So this is state one where pressure is P1 and volume is V1. Now, a monkey suddenly came and lifted the entire sugar, two kg sugar ran away. So what will happen? And this piston will move upward very fast and it will reach Suppose this point where pressure is P2 and volume is V2. Suppose this is state 2. So if you want to see this process on PV diagram, you can show it here like this 1 and 2. This is state 1 and state 2. But you cannot draw a curve between 1 and 2. Because if you want to draw a curve, you need all the intermediate points between 1 and 2. Then only you will be able to draw a curve but you don't have intermediate points because system was so fast that Now, the same thing is being done by an ant, a small ant. You can see here in this figure. Now, we know that since ant cannot lift the entire 2 kilogram of sugar in one shot, so what it does, it lifts one crystal of sugar, just one particle of sugar, and it transport that from this point to this point. So when when ant remove first particle of sugar from this point, then this piston will slightly move from this point to this point, for example, because pressure will slightly reduce and volume will slightly increase. Then ant again came and lifted second particle of sugar. And again, system reaches at this point. So in this way, one by one, ant lift entire sugar from the piston and move from this point to this point. So what will happen? Finally, this piston will reach here, but this process will take infinite time, maybe one year or maybe two year or infinite time. So here also system move from same state 1 to 2 but the difference is the process was very slow and we have all the intermediate equilibrium points so now you can show all these points on this pv diagram all these points because you have all the intermediate points because the process was very slow between state 1 and state 2 and then you can draw a curve here between 1 and 2 and this type of process is called as quasi-equilibrium or quasi-static process. 
This is also called as reversible process. So any reversible process must be quasi-static. Quasi means stake, almost. Quasi means almost. And equilibrium you know. So if the process is almost in equilibrium at each and every point, then the process is called as quasi equilibrium process. Static means stagnant. So from name itself, it is clear that quasi static process is almost stagnant. So if you understood this concept of quasi equilibrium process, if you like my way of teaching, my way of storytelling, then please subscribe to this channel and also share with your friends. Thank you.